Hi everyone, in this video I will explain how to determine deflection of Bay Museum Micro Limited. From the question, we need to obtain the elastic curve expression for the beam using the Macaulay function. Then, calculate the deflection at the free end of the cantilever beam. In this case, we no need to find direction at the support. We take a section cut toward the right and to the account for all load acting on the beam. Okay, in this case, we cut from the left. Okay, so you've got here. Since we have triangular load, so we need to calculate the value by using ratio. Okay, so first of all, calculate the value of assume to be W and then is W0 equal to 6 kilo newton per meter so when I draw free body diagram here so this is a 20 kilo newton and then of course this is triangular then this is W and this is M. Okay, so it start to here. Okay, my X start from here. So now this is the 3 meter. And of course, this is X minus 3. So from here, I know that from here to here is X minus 3. And here to here is 3. Okay. By using a ratio, W over X3 equal to 6 over 3. W is equal to 2 X minus 3. So now here, your W is 2 X minus 3. Okay, so we can start calculate the reaction. Summation moment equal to zero. So M X plus twenty time with the X plus for triangular we need to find the load applied by the area half times width minus 3 times with 2x minus 3 okay times with the level arm okay one third times with x minus 3 equal to 0 so m x is equal to negative one third x minus three power of three minus twenty x. Okay, now we have already defined the moment internal moment, so we can find the slope and deflection equation. Based on the moment, the I P square V over D X square equal to X equal to negative one of three X three of three minus twenty X. Right? Then we integrate. You can over twelve x three four twenty two plus c one. Okay, then integrate again for five minus three 
x plus c2 okay in this case by using macaulay we just cut once okay at the end of the section right so you only have now two equation here c1 and c2 okay now we want to solve c1 and c2 by applying the boundary condition okay let's we really take a look from the figure okay from the figure we have only one boundary condition which is a support fix as we know the support fix here the deflection is zero and also slope is equal to zero so the range from x equal to six okay right so you need to draw a sticker okay so it's a little bit like this the elastic curve right so now calculate this unknown by applying boundary condition Okay, the boundary condition for slope okay, dv over dx equal to 0 and x equal to 6 meter. Then for deflection v equal to 0 when x equal to 6 meter. So we can substitute into in this case is in here question, equation one and then this case for equation number two so i start with the equation number one okay negative 12 3 4 2 plus c1 so I substitute is zero Okay, and then this is a 6, this is a 6. So when calculate, you get that C1 is equal to 1, 4, 6, 7, divided by 4. Okay, now we start for second question. Okay, to find the displacement or deflection. X3. 5 10 3 3 plus c1 x plus c2 so i substitute this is 6 this is 0 6 then 6 so c1 substitute from this to this so therefore you will get c2 is equal to 1476.45 Okay, we have done calculate the unknown of C1 and C2. Then we need to rewrite again the equation slope and deflection with the C1 and C2 value. So Slope equation is equal to 12, 3 power of 4, minus 22, divided by 2, x power of 2, plus, to see 1, 1, 4, 7, divided by 4. And then, for slope, 1, 60, 3 power of 5 10 divided by 3 x power of 3 plus 1 4 6 7 divided by 4 plus 1 4 7 6 oh ok sorry it's not plus it's negative 1 4 5 
Okay. So now we can determine the deflection at point C. Okay. We want to define the displacement at point C. Okay. Displacement at point C which is deflection at free end here. So deflection is here. Right. So since we start from there, we know that x is equal to 0. So we can substitute into equation number 2. So here. So we can substitute in here. Right. We substitute to define the deflection at n when x equal to 0. So you substitute everything. Okay. Right, right again. Okay, substitute it here is zero. This is zero. Okay, go forget this x. This is x. Okay, of course this is zero. Zero minus three is negative three, so eliminate zero. So therefore Okay, the V is 1476.45 divided by EI. Okay, this question is given E. Okay, given E equal to 200 gigapascal and I, second moment of inertia. So, we need to calculate the I. So, how we calculate the I? In this case, I will do the large here, okay, large rectangular, okay, minus with the small rectangular here. So, I is pH cube over 12 equal to 140 times with 200 divided by 12, this is the big one. Then minus the small one, 20, 160, 2, 12. So I get 52.373, 4. So I change to meter, 52.373, negative 6, 4. Okay, so now you can calculate substitute for E and I into the V. Okay, 1476.45 divided by 10, 10 power of 6. Okay, because in here kilo, meter, meter, cube. Right? 552.373.6 So therefore, we get negative 0. Point, okay, this is negative 0. Point 141 meter or 141 millimeter going down. So this is the value deflection at free and cantilever B. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.